Hey everybody. Hello gang. We're Baffle Cars and Jeff from Baffle Shadows Gaming. Back on Ark Survival Evolved. Arrgh. So we're back at the Lower South Cave. As we're going to see, go back in and see about getting uh, one of the one or two of the beetles. We're looking for some dungs. Yes. Because they're very useful because, you know, <laughs> you give them poop and then you get oil and fertilizer out of them. So definitely want to try to get at least one of those, preferably two. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see if we manage to get horribly murdered. Probably. Because it's a cave and caves are painful. We're good at but this. Uh, Hello! There's a dodo in here. Yeah, Hardcore you dodo. He must have wandered quite far. Yeah. Anyway, it'll probably go fine. I mean, we survived last time. And general plan being... You know, go to where this stuff, shoot anything that isn't a beetle, and then tame one up, because it shouldn't be too tricky. I've been collecting lots of large poops, since they're basically the best thing to do it with. The hmm. poop, the better it is. Although, I'm not sure you, the, uh, this is like the size higher that you get from the titanosaurs, which is massive, but I don't think you can tame anything with those. At least it wasn't on the table. Well, I think they might have not actually programmed it in to do that though. On the other hand, you no know, one might have tried it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, dead and buzz. Die, snakes! <laughs> Where's that third one? There you are. Anything else about? Probably. I should probably let Parrot fly around. Um, are you sure? I've set it to attack my target, so... If I shoot something, it will kill things. Fair enough. There's still a bunch of spiders down there. Yep, and snakes. And now they all want a piece of me. Ooh, there's a bug down. There's a beetle down there too. Yeah. Let's go the way that's you know there's actually a ramp. Well, given that we can't get the oh beetle God. up from there without going all the way around. So much glare off the ground. Uh, I wonder if it's best to just turn bloom off entirely, rather than look to ways to mitigate it. Because I know there's not a setting to do it. It's either on or off. I think well, I think they've probably changed some of the things, so we could tweak it if we wanted to. Yeah. I need to look in a little bit more. Oh, uh, her power. Mm. Why do I never bring stimberries? Uh. Oh. Aha! You're bug. Good. Is there anything else around it? I don't know, I can't see anything. Right. You stay put. Okay, I'll shoot uh, the left. Yeah. Behind you. Ah. All of the things. Ah. Ah. Leave. An idiot spider. Yeah. <laughs> Arr. Get uh, shot. Assortment of gribblers. <sighs> Tough buggers. Oh, girl. Uh huh. That's it. Slither on. Whoa! <laughs> the edge is slippy. That was nearly the end for me. Anyone else? Any more for any oh. more? Oh, there was one right next to me. <laughs> I thought it was dead. Whoops. Whoop! Oh, I wanted to be your friend. There Nobody likes you, Arthropolar. Okay. You keep an eye out. I will carefully see if this bug wants some food. Let's say food. 
It wants some reverse is. pooping, that's what it wants. Yes. Read. Whoa, that was most of the bar. Then again, it's only level 8. Yeah, we've got, the, with the multipliers, it's, it's not going to take too long. Yep. I think a max level one only needed, um, I think it was somewhere between 13 and 40. So it's still quite a bit, but considering that's maximum level, and we would be dividing that by 5 if it was maximum. Are you hungry? What is there any more about? Because I've got like ridiculous amounts of uh, stuff here. Oh, you have to manually put it back in the slot. Curses! <sighs> <laughs> ah! There we go. I'm going to call you. Dumb. Raw. We're Egyptian themed. Uh, Fair enough. No attacking target for you. Yoink. Yoink. Wait, I thought you could pick these up. You can. Well. Apparently it wasn't the default thing for me. Um, maybe because you're carrying a thing? Am I? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about parrot. Right. We'll take that outside and see if we can find another one. Flee! Flee! Alright, we're back. Cleared stuff out, and there is more scarabs. Yay! There we go. Carefully sneak up on this one. There's another two down there. Uh, I like this ledge. Yeah. It fills me with safety. Yeah, there's a ledge up there you can jump on, which is a good spot to snipe everything. Less running around panicking at everything being down there. At least with these ones you don't even have to bother with the... Uh, what do you call it? The bug repellent? Mm -hmm. I think it's unless you actually step on them, or sh actually shoot them, they're happy enough to just, you know, ignore you. Yeah, they're fairly passive. Tempted to try and set up a camp down near that loot drop. Well, the one across the border? Yeah. Yeah, I could get curious to that, and again, it's probably not got nothing good in it, but it's sitting over there being tempting. Well, I'm curious as if we can set up uh, another cave farm. Ah, right. it looks like a reasonably big area, so we might be able to put a bed down. And not block the spawn. Right. Might have to try that next time. There we go. Come on. I'm on raw. Indeed. It's the one called Cree. <laughs> I'm on raw Cree. It is now. <laughs> scorpion egg. Are there any scorpions around? Well, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Ah, safe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, everyone on passive. This way. Hopefully, no one's spawned in behind us. Hopefully. They did that last time, it was annoying. Yeah. On our way back, we kept running into them. Okay, after the cave we go and back to base. Base word ho! Back at base with these three beauties. Now. These work by putting poop on them. There we go. Oh, tiny weight values. Mm -hmm. Give it some on. Put some on everybody. Another bit on here. And they should convert that into oil and compost, but only when wandering. So Wandering enabled. Okay, so enabled wandering on these guys? Yep. Yep. And I've uh, already done it. Yep. You're ahead of me. Right. Helping. They'll just happily stick around and convert stuff for us. So I don't know how much you get like, over time, like how fast to do this. Uh, but it'll be a source of oil, and if there's enough uh, 
compost for the farm, we won't have to worry about refilling the compost bins all the time. I think it's a few bits and pieces for a few hours. Right. Well, it takes about an hour for stuff to compost anyway, so... Yeah. Yay! Look can these can be our little bug factories. Woo! And we have to remember to keep the door closed. <laughs> or they'll wander out. Ah! Oh, achieved! Okay, now we're back and we've got that sorted. I was going to go brew up some mind wipe tonics. So we can reassign all of our stats and engram points and everything. So put things in things we find more important now, so because uh very soon crafting speed isn't gonna be that important. <laughs> um I'm not sure if I need that much in the melee damage since most of the stuff we do is dino based. Yeah, I mean it might be useful for caves, but Yeah maybe. Anyway. It's like quite a hefty recipe. Let's just come to this. Uh, so each mind wipe tonic needs 200 major berries, uh, 24 cooked prime meat, 72 stimulants, 72 narcotics, and uh, 20 rare flowers and 20 mushrooms. Put that in there. Go! Oh, I've got enough berries there, I didn't actually count properly. Just grabbed all the ones I could see. <laughs> well, if we run out, we've got the farm next to us. I've already taken them out of the farm. <laughs> yeah, but how long ago was that? Level. Um, something okay. else I want to do is play around with the custom recipe system. Success! There's, there's four mine work tonics. Okay, I'll leave them there for now so we can grab a couple out of there. And something else I want for this is focal chili, which I'll explain in a minute. I'll just throw all the stuff in. So we need a bunch of the other berries. No, don't make energy burp. Don't make medical burp. No! Don't make soup. Ah. Is it all going wrong? Okay, now I've stopped panicking and got everything sorted. Turn this back on. And uh, this should make focal chili. There we go. Huzzah! So I need it. Just need the one. Put this fibre back. Yeah. Berries, berries. Ah. Okay, so. Got what we need? Uh, yep. Yeah. So. There's custom cooking. Uh, you need to get the cooking pot, which I think is all the way over here. To the longhouse! Right. And the way the custom cooking system works is you put uh, a note in the cooking pot and then you can designate a custom recipe using a whole bunch of different types of ingredients uh, to make. And it'll give you uh, values for... Uh, if it's food, it'll be health food, stamina. If it's a drink, it'll be water instead of the food part of that equation. Cool. And um, the reason crafting speed was important is how effective it is is depending on your crafting speed. So if you've got a high crafting speed it'll have a higher multiplier on top of it. So I've been playing around with the calculator on the wiki that lets you uh, try stuff beforehand and I was going to make a couple of different things. But first uh, because the recipe um, works out how effective the um, the end result is going to be based on your crafting speed when you make the recipe, you can use a mind wipe tonic to reset all of your uh, one of your stats from your leveling up, put everything into crafting speed, and then uh, make a recipe that's like really powerful, and then you use another mind wipe tonic to basically reset it to back to whatever the hell you want. So we're going to do that, and then I will get to the recipes I have planned out. Cool! Alright, we've got stuff gathered together. And first, I need to mind wipe tonic. Blah. Oh wait, no, let's put it in my slot. Okay, using the slot. Ah, everything is removed. <laughs> Level one! Level one, right. So I'm going to put absolutely everything into crafting speed. And it should get ridiculously high. Uh, ding, 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 ding. It is possible to put literally every level you get in here. Uh, there we go. We've got it up to 960. Not bad. So now the focal chili will give me another effect of 100% for 15 minutes. So I will eat that. Om nom. Okay, now to get to that. 
So, but you have to use a cooking pot for this uh, um, because it won't work with the industrial cooker. But you start by putting a blank note in here. There you go. And then on the menu it should have the make recipe option. So you go on that. And in here, uh, you basically uh, you put the ingredients you want in the middle here. There we go. Uh, it should make it. I want 10 raw meat and a rare mushroom. And I worked out that that would give, um, I think about 80 in health and stamina and over 100 in food, so that would fill up your entire bar. Have you used your focal chili? Yep, I've already used it. Cool. Uh, it doesn't actually give you the numbers anywhere around here. Uh, you have to designate either food or drink. If it's food, it doesn't have a water value. If it's a drink, it doesn't have a food value. Cool. Uh, that's a couple of different options for what the thing can look like. So I'll just do that platter like looking thing. And you can change the colours as well on different parts. Uh, I'll leave it at that. So, since this is a mushroom with some more meat, let's call this steak and mushroom. Yum. Yum. And then you will make recipe. And it should give you. There we go. Steak and mushroom recipe. It tells what it needs. That cooking pot, but I think you can use it in the industrial thing as well. Cool. So, well, this is higher than I thought. I must, uh, oh, yeah, because you use the focal chili, so it's a bit higher than when I was using the calculator. Cool. So it gives you 123 point blood food, uh, 91 health, 90 stamina. Nice. So, quite, quite high values. And the weight of what it is will vary quite, quite a bit. Um, depending on what you put in it, like the more stuff you put in and the heavier stuff you put in, the more it'll turn out in the end. Mm -hmm. So these are way point one. I'm gonna make them. Right, and the other thing I wanted to make, take those back out. I'm gonna make something with donut eggs. So put another note in. Uh, make recipe. Put in three donut eggs, and then we go for everything apart from water. So it'll be kind of similar across the board for it. Mm-hmm. Not sure what to use for that. Oh, sure. This will be another one. There we go. Make recipe. Ah. Uh, there we go. Open those. So there's both of them made. See that one is uh, 195 for both all food, health, and stamina. Cool. Yeah, it looks like your way is roughly the same. Hmm. That egg one turned out better. Yeah. Or maybe it's just the recipe is point one. I think that's the recipe. That is I'll have to some up and see. <laughs> it's, uh, the egg one should weigh more than that. Anyway, for the actual cooking, it's going to use the industrial cooker to make a whole bunch at once. Cool, so you can cook it up in the industrial thing. Uh, I think you should be able to. It's the... Oh. Uh, you just need to make the recipe and yeah. you know. the, the recipe says can be made at cooking pot, but I'm pretty sure I read you can make it at the industrial cooker. I guess we'll find out. Yep. So come over here. Whoop. Here we go. And here we've got stuff prepared. Uh, take those mushrooms out for now. Try the. We got any petrol? Yeah, yes, we got do. some in there. Cool. Turn that on. There we go. Hey, look at it go. So yeah, it's um, the so that's food. weighing uh, one a piece for the dodo egg buns. Wait, Twenty. That doesn't, that's not right. Oh, that's overall. So it's looks like it's about one per bun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They stack into twenty. Um, right, that's all of those. Take that off. Let's take the mushrooms in. Uh, Hundred mushrooms. You get. Lots and lots and lots of meat. I got off tornado. Meat, 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 meat. Meat. You need about a thousand to do this. There we go. <laughs> That's over a thousand. And I can't move. That's a good thing yeah. you're adjacent to the cooker. <laughs> I just throw all these in and I'll make them. He should be a lot lighter than the uh, the egg. 
Yep. 6.2 for 20. Yep. Because the uh, the mushroom and the meat were a lot lighter than the egg. So, they weigh less. Now, all of the uh, crafted, the like custom crafted uh, foods you use with the, uh, the cooking system uh, will all have a um, 48 hour decay timer. So, some things that's going to increase the lifespan of it significantly, other things is going to reduce it. I think things with eggs, eggs have quite a long timer. So it'll make it less, but... Okay, looks like we're done. Let's do that. I'm just going to leave those recipes in there. Right. So, mm, I'll tell you about I have stuff. my new steak and mushrooms. Nom, 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 nom. I really can't move again still. It's all those dodo buns, I think. Right. Tornado can carry them. Hooray! Woo! Right, I'm going to put these in a fridge. I've renamed a fridge specifically for these. <laughs> My fork and curry still going. Cool. Hooray. Right, which fridge are we going for? Around the back? Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it custom one, food. Custom food one. Thumb. There we go. Thumb. So we can use them as we need them. Success. I only use that other mine right one to reset all my stats. <laughs> right, yay. Right, well... But yeah, like I said, uh, once I reset my stats, uh, I don't have to have that, you know, ridiculously high crafting speed to actually make the recipes. You just need those to make the the note. The thing will cook at the value you had when you made it. Cool. Yay. Right, well, I have also used my mind work tonic, tonic uh, to ju pump a giant pile of points into health. Because <laughs> I have heard that falling damage is capped. Ooh. So you get it high enough and, you know, you can just fall as far as you want. In theory, uh, but I'll need to borrow you and Yara. Okay. Here we get Yara. I'll drive. <laughs> yes, please. Hop on. I definitely don't want to be driving. Okay. So, do I just fly straight up? Uh, yeah. I, we need to be high enough that I'm going to hit terminal velocity. Okay. I how high that is. I don't know. Up we go. I mean, there's always the, uh, we could go all the way up to the world border and see how that, see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Go, Yara. To the heavens. Flap, flap, flap. Ah. Okay. There it is. Fly down a bit. Yeah, don't want you doing out of the world. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just going to center myself on the base a bit more and move it a bit. Okay. Ready? Wee! Bye bye. Race you. Oh, I ain't gonna beat me. <laughs> oh, the tension! I can't see anything. You're out of render distance. <laughs> Everything is out of render distance. And you'll note you did not get a red text. But you survived. I am on. 20 health. <laughs> oh, nice. So, so... So what's it capped at, then? What, what's your health? Well, from the looks of it, it does, like, 430-something damage. Right, yeah, 450. So if you have... So I'm at 450. So if you're at 440, you should be able to survive every fall in the game. <laughs> so you don't fall onto something, you know, like a terror bird. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> uh, if only they would... Uh, Allow you to carry through your momentum so that you could damage the other thing you landed on as well. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Dive bombing people! Just dive bomb onto a uh, Giganotosaurus. I'm a good boy! Oh god! Oh god! Well, on the topic of uh, Tepiyaras, while I was out gathering all that meat for that cooking, I found another one! Aha! Yay! It's not need to name it, but hey. Uh, do we have a breeding pair or are they? Uh... Uh, I think they're both female. Okay. Well, at least they were female. Yeah. More I think it's, you know, it was hanging about fairly close to the base, so I went, Tabby Jara! How does it grab? Ow. Yeah, he's still need to heal. Yes. Eat one of the dodo egg bugs. I'm at, I'm at 77, 78 health, and I've still got the beeping noise of low health, yeah. because, oh my god, so much health. Can we try one of those dodo egg ones? Are you go for health? 
I think it goes up slowly, but it'll go up. It does go up quite, slowly. Yeah, but it'll keep going for quite a while, because that was like 190 food, uh, food, health and stamina. You know what? What? You see, now that I've used this, I kind of want to keep the 450 health. But <laughs> if you've got enough points to put, to, you know, put in everything else you're interested in, then why yeah. not, eh? Well, I've managed to get uh, 150 stamina, 260 weight, and 160 movement speed. <laughs> And 450 health, and we're not at the level cap, so we're pro I think we're about 10 below the level cap. Yeah, I think it goes up to 98. Something like that. Yeah. So I've still got a few more points to spend. Uh, so yeah. So in, in the cave, you go first. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> On the other hand, this does mean that your uh, health regenerating food items do not restore me <laughs> enough health for me. Oh. <laughs> you have to make even heavier dodo buns. <laughs> make them with a different egg or something. Oh no, the, I think it's the same for all eggs, it's just heavier depending on which egg you use. Yeah. Oh well. Then again, I suppose it's a rest hour over time, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not going to restore it all instantly anyway. A shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're in a position where you need, desperately need something to restore 400 health, then yeah, you're probably going to be di dying anyway. <laughs> I think I would be boned. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure why they stick with this build, it's, it's kind of... Silly? Well... It has some weaknesses for caves because it's not got any fortitude. Ah, right, yeah. So, um, you just put, I need to... You put, put your last ten levels into fortitude. I need to think about that. Uh, Alright, good session. Yeah. Uh, scarab sorted. Oil and compost production. Uh, the tabajara of opportunity. Ooh, <laughs> extra one. Higher level. And we've messed around with the custom cooking recipes. So we have some uh, stuff we can make from that. Mm, Uber food. Woo! And I still need to decide whether or not to use my uh, second mind wipe tonic to get rid of my giant piles of health <laughs> mm, decisions. Uh, there's nothing else you need to put the points in there, so you can keep it. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, if you plan on trying out the custom recipes yourself. Strongly recommend going on the wiki page and using the calculator they have there. It'll let you plan ahead what you want to use since the cooking pot doesn't give you any values ahead of time. So, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, gang. -bye. Bye,